Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my next project uh, will be another uh, thing with the Pro Mini Arduino clone. There goes the cat. And um, now it will be a DCC decoder. And I will install it in this uh, wagon and I will use it to control the lights in there so uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm using uh, a program on here from Mr. Jeff Bonza if I'm correct and uh, you can find him on uh, YouTube and I will put a link in the description and uh, I'm using his software and his schematic uh, for hooking up everything to the Pro Mini and so on and so on and especially here this section here which uh, is the part which does the receiving of the DCC signaling uh, packages it's an optocoupler and uh, yeah that's basically it for so uh, I'm using that and I will put links in the description down below I'm uh, also using one of my uh, book converter uh, power supplies and I'm gonna I've set this to 12 volts and uh, it goes also to this linear, linear uh, this uh, voltage stabilizer this is a 5 volt and that will supply the power for the Arduino and also for a light in the bathroom and maybe some other functions why 12 volt on the buck converter? well this LED LED strip, uh, light strip is 12 volts so uh, I need to switch that and I'm gonna use this little tiny MOSFET uh, for it which I bought uh, from uh, a kit and it's uh, an assortment of uh, MOSFETs and that's from uh, Camo Electronic and it's a German company and they have some uh, data sheets uh, or some specifications on uh, the MOSFETs and there are several different ones in there so you can uh, mess around with these uh, MOSFETs I'm gonna use that to switch the lights on the main lights in the wagon on because they are 12 volts so uh, let's take a little look at uh, what I've got here a little closer look what you see here is uh, some salvaged parts and it's on a, a ferro board with uh, stripes uh, with with running connectors it's almost like a breadboard so uh, you only have to make these kinds of uh, connections and what happens is that the power comes in take a pen. comes in here now there are three uh, three holes here uh, three connections here but only the two outest outer ones are used here the raw track power comes in and you can see here these uh, this uh, resistor it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor and this wire bridge they go over here to together with this small diode here yeah a small diode here and they go into the optocoupler they drive the little LED inside here and that is uh, fed into the receiving side of the optocoupler here is uh, a positive 5 volts negative and that power is coming from via this bridge rectifier and this bridge rectifier feeds the main 
track power and it is about uh, 24 volts or so to the buck converter which I set to 12 volts here with the trim pot those 12 volts go back to the circuit board and I made a, a gap here so this is track power DCC of a this is DC track power it's not the 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 track power as such it's rectified track power and here is 12 volts on this side now that goes into the linear uh, voltage reg regulator and that makes 5 volts and these 5 volts come are over here Am I right here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, they are uh, on this pin here. This pin here is 12, 5 volts. And uh, I've bent the leads on this regulator so that the center one, the ground, is in the ground rail. There are two ground rails here. There's a little wire bridge there. And this is the positive 5 volts rail. And this is the 12, uh, uh, 12 volts rail. This one. And therefore I can get this wire goes over here to the positive 5 volts of the optocoupler. And this is the negative one so these two are negative uh, five uh, negative volts ground and they come here from the rectifier so this is all negative here this one as well this is interrupted I cut the hole uh, cut holes here with a, a little uh, drill bit and I can show you how I do that I can just put it in here just stick the drill bit in a hole in one of the holes where between the points you need to, to uh, be isolated and then you just do it a little bit around and then you can see there is an uh, isolation point so this is isolated from that side that's how I do it and uh, it makes it easy I like this type of board I'd rather have uh, uh, epoxy one but this is a uh, pref uh, paper board but it works so uh, yeah I will have to uh, this wire by the way is the wire that comes from the that comes from the output of the optocoupler and that will go to pin number two I believe I think yeah pin number two of the Arduino as is mentioned in the schematic yeah pin number two it goes to pin number two of this of the Arduino clone here and I will solder the wire directly into it now in order to uh, hide everything inside the wagon I will show you what I did I'm a little bit on the go here this one has to go on here as well so all the power stuff is handled on this board the light for the toilet room in the wagon is going to be directly powered from the uh, from the Arduino now where will I put the stuff I will put this board here it will fit under the bench a double bench the I think I will do it like this so it will go here this one goes upside down under this bench and the Arduino will go 
underneath that bench. Here is the connector for the power and that can be connected in there so that you can take it out. Inside the toilet I want some uh, uh, function or function but I want a little light that you can turn on and off separately from this uh, from the main uh, cabin light and uh, yeah that's basically the two functions I get in this locomotive uh, wagon for now but there are more function functional uh, items to be uh, done and that will probably be some movement uh, how do I get track power? Well, you can have uh, those uh, nice met metal wheels uh, with uh, ball bearings and uh, track uh, power connections on it. But I haven't done that. I've used metal wheels with isolated uh, metal wheels. And I used these um, carbon tip yeah, uh, carbon, how do you call it? Well, coal barstool uh, systems. These come from locomotives. Uh, you can buy them uh, in a package of four from the Massot company and LGB has them and sometimes you can pick them up somewhere uh, where else. And I just soldered them to some of this uh, same circuit board and I drilled some holes and made connections under there, under uh, to the the oh, how do you call it? Well, you know what I mean. The 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 bogey. That's the word. So uh, and the wheels can still move uh, pretty free. There are no ball bearings in these axles, but uh, I don't mind that. Uh, so I'm not I'm not gonna run extremely long trains. So. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. So uh, the wire, the power comes goes down the board, and it goes, bang, it goes in. Maybe you can see it into the wagon base. Now it first goes uh, through the bottom of the the car and then later it comes up uh, from between the bottom here and the wagon floor there's a little bit of space and I wired it so that the wire came up in the toilet area as you can see and that was because I thought of doing the wiring all into the to the ceiling but uh, that's not a big uh, good idea so uh, yeah I will now go and finish the uh, make it uh, work functionable and uh, you will see that in another video so uh, see you later in another uh, and uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions put them down below in the comments if you have, want to uh, see more of my videos then please uh, subscribe and if you like my videos then give them a little bit of a thumbs up. Thank you and goodbye.